It was standing room only tonight for a public hearing involving Lake Schaefer and Freeman, the federal government, and endangered mussels. More than 150 people attended, with more than 20 speaking on the record. It's the latest chapter in a saga that goes back almost four years when lake levels dropped to protect the mussels below the Oakdale Dam. As News 18 has reported, the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission, or FERC, released a draft of a study in October. The results pleased residents who have been fighting the recommendations of the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. FERC's environmental biologist who ran the meeting does not believe the gap is that wide between fish and wildlife and FERC. That's because he says the agencies agree that to protect the mussels, the outflow of the dams should mimic the actions of the natural river, or so-called runoff river. The question is, is how do we determine what that run of river operation is? How, how is that calibrated? It's hard to make everybody 100% happy all the time, but I think we can find a, a, a better solution what's in place right now. John Koppelman, that solution is one that won't affect the lake as much as it did in the drought of 2014, but also protects the mussels downstream. FERC hopes to have a final environmental assessment ready in two to three months. They will then ask Fish and Wildlife to concur. If they do, it goes back for approval before the full commission. There's no timeline for that decision.